Amnam lahavin inyan amrai b'tselam alekim. The fact that uh, to, to help us understand why a human is called b'tselam alekim, daika v'lay shem acher. We could have been a shem shakai, b'tselam shakai, b'tselam Hashem, b'tselam yudkei vavkei, b'tselam who knows what b'tselam ana b'koyach. <laughs> could have been a lot of things. Why are we b'tselam alekim, daika v'lay shem acher? Because we know what Elohim means. That every Shem Hashem has a different meaning and a different Gilui uh, of the Rebbeinu Shalom. And Elohim refers to the aspect of HaKadosh Baruch Hu which says that he's a Baal HaKoychais Kulam. Now, I explained on Sunday that Baal HaKoychais Kulam has, that we know of, um, three Pshatim, and I believe there were Chaim Velazim going with the third Pshat, which is the Emes Pshat. Baal HaKoychais Kulam can mean Baal HaKoychais Kulam. He could do anything, which is, of course, true. <laughs> he could do anything. God wants to split the sea, split the sea. He wants us to be... Rich will be rich, he wants us to be poor. Everything that happens in the Sana Toki of Kedusha Sayoim, Miyichia Miyamus, Akol Biyad Hashem, he's the Kol Yachal. That's the simple pshat, Balachai Chizkul. When you learn Shulchan Aruch, that's the simple pshat. The, the, um, the Mepharshim say that it's, it's something different than that. Of course, he could do everything, but the shame, the, that's not what the shame of Lakim means. The shame of Lakim in saying that he's the Bala Koychis Kula means that he's a Bailam on the Koychis. There are Koychis in this world. There's Koychis. There's a Koychis of gravity, there's a Koychis of thinking, there's a Koychis. There's Koychis in this world. Who owns those Koychis and who's in charge of those Koychis? Akarish Baruch Hu. So when we talk about a Lakim, we're talking about a Bailus. Uh, a, a Baal HaKoychais Kulam. Not that he could do anything. That's Mamela that he could do everything. But the point is that, that there is no Koych in the world which is not HaKadosh Baruch. It's a different Havana. <coughs> well, think one day, what's the Nafkamina uh, in it? But, um, yes. Yes. He's the Baal of the Koychais. Meaning, it's not that there's a Koych in this world and if Hashem wants so he can change it. <laughs> He's the Bailam of that Koyach. It's not just he can't change it. He's the Bailam of the Koyach. He can do whatever he wants. He's, he's the Bailam of the Koyach. Bailam of the Bailam of the The third shot is the shot of the Zoyer. And it explains in the, in the very first passage of the Terebrations, Baro Eloi Kim, Es HaShemayim Vesaretz. And that's that um, when HaKadosh Baruch Hu created the world, so he used the shame Eloi Kim. In creating the world, I'm not sure what the alternative was. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not privy to that information. I don't think anybody is. But he he used the shame elikim, meaning that the that um, everything that's created in the world is brachas bara elikim as hashemayim basar. So there's other things which are maybe higher or less understandable. But what we can understand is that there's a koach elokim in the entire world. There's a koach elokim within us. There's a koach elokim in the, in, the, in the table, in the water, in the furniture, in the sun, in the moon. There's, there's, there's koach elokim. So it's not that he can do whatever he wants. The baal hakoach is kula means that, that the elokim, gracious bar elokim, is that he is everything. Malay kolar, it's kvaitai. It's not that he can do whatever he wants. He is everything. <laughs> or at least Elohim is everything. Elohim, the word means strong. Uh, um, Elohim, the Zayar says, can mean Kaidish. Elohim can mean Chal. Yaviyadavar El Elohim. Ki Chamocha Kifaro. Talks about Paro as being uh, Elohim. It's, it could be an avodazar, lehiba cherim. So what it, what it means is a very strong thing. But the, the what we're saying over here is that the 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 koach, the, the that which is in the bria, the whole bria, as we know it, 
was created with the Shem Elikim and it is Elikim. So this is the beginning of understanding, not, that's not the end, <laughs> it's the beginning of, create, of understanding Tzimtzum. That a Kaddish Baruch was actually put himself into the Bria. There's so godliness in the Bria. He is in everything or he is? Elohim is in everything. That's what desire says. Everything. That's what desire says. This so is before you get to uh, Balatanyas, before you get to Grah, before you get to anything, you know. Uh, it, it's Bracious Bar Elohim, Vesashabai Vesars. I want to explain it a little bit. Lufi Hasagasegu. I just. Uh, but let's. let's that's, that's the third shot. According to that third shot, which is the most. Uh, um, the one we would prefer not to go with because it makes it very complicated. Why would we want to go with that? Oh, yeah, I can do whatever he wants to do. That's good, Balakai. No, but Balakai is cool because it says in the Shulchan Aruch, the Taiches that Hashem is, it changes everything. Hashem is here, Hashem is there, Hashem is everywhere, Hashem is everything is the Kayach Where do we see the word Baal? Mean? Why is it Baal? Yeah. Baal, Meaning, I mean, Baal usually is distinct from whatever. Right. Because Elohim, correct. Because Elohim is here, and then all the other Shemus are here. I'll explain. But the Baal Elohim, I'm going to manifest myself in, as Elohim. Pnei Elohim. Like, this is the, the manifestation. I'll explain. So, but first, let's see what he says, which seems like a Pasha Mashal, and then we can understand what he means. Indian Masha Uyisbarach Nikra Balakai, because don't forget the, the context here. The context is that therefore would word Selam Elohim, meaning we are the ultimate manifestation of godliness. We're godly. That's what it means. We're like godly, like little gods. <laughs> in, in a Bechina, we can't create the world, but we can do something. That's the thesis of this whole safe. We can do something as because we have this. Shem Elohim within us, maybe it's the Neshava, maybe something else, but we have the Shem Elohim within us, and that Elohim allows us to, and we have the cell of Elohim, you can even see it on us. So being that we have that, it gives us a tremendous koch, Baal HaKochos Kula. But it's more of a potential, it's something we have to realize? Or well, there's Bechira. Because let's say somebody who's a complete Russia, I mean, he... Also it's Elohim Elohim, but he messes it up. What about a table? A table is also a Elohim. It's Elohim, but not Selim Elohim. Selim means not only is it the Koach of Elohim, which a table is, but there's a Selim Elohim, it actually reflects. Selim means like a sail. Sail actually reflects. Or Selim Elohim. The Indian Mashu Nikra Balakaychais, and here he explains. Kiloi can be the sponsor of a dumb. A person creates something from wood. You're not taking, you're not making the wooden house, really. You're organizing a house out of wood. Assembly. Assembly. Ikea. Out of the box. That he, he's not like a person says, Oh, I put my whole heart into that building. It's a figure of speech because um, if he dies, then the building should then collapse because his heart's in the building. <laughs> or if he knocked the building down, he should die. So he's not really connected. To the building. That's Basar Vadab. He's not really, he put his soul into the building. <laughs> it's hard and so. But it's not really true. He organized, he assembled, he assembled the building. With a parent child. Maybe more so. Maybe more so. Avahuyas Barak Shmai, there's the Moshal, which sounds so simplistic, and then you see, like, wow, this is not simple at all. Avahuyas Barak Shmai. When he created the worlds, he created the whole world, all the worlds, something from nothing. With his unlimited infinite koach, 
So kol yoyim v'chol rega mamish kol koyach mitziyusam v'sidram v'kiyumam. The very fact that things are standing, toli rak v'mashu yisbarach shmoi mashpia behem v'ritzoni yisbarach kol rega. Um, so when we talk about Baal HaKochos Kulam, we're talking about the fact that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is so intrinsically involved with this table that if he would be Maser his Koach from the table, Hasvashalom, then the table would what? Disappear. What? Or disappear. Or collapse. Collapse or disappear? Disappear. Cease to exist. Cease to exist. Cease to exist. <laughs> Which one is it? Separate. No, I'm asking a good question. <laughs> Which one is it? Would the wood still be there, but have, be, but not be able to hold a cup, or would it evaporate? It returns to iron. It depends on whatever that is. Yeah, it turns to iron. Tolly Rak Mashi Yisbarach Shmei Mashpia Behem Biritzayna Yisbarach Kol Rega. By the way, this question is the sugya. It's not a side point. This is the sugya, and I'll explain to you why. But let's get the words. Tolly Rak Mashu Yisbarach Shmei Mashpia Behem Biritzayna Yisbarach Kol Rega. Koyach Veshifas Or Chodosh. Ve'ilu Hayahu Yisbarach Mesalek Mehem Koyach Hashba Asay. If Hashem would remove Koach Hashba Asay. Which we're calling Al Piazoyar Eloikim. Afrega Achas, even for one second, Karega Hayakulam, here's a new word, Eves Vitohu. Doesn't tell us very much. Becomes zero and Tohu? Chaos. Chaos? No. Hmm? No. Null, void. <laughs> Sounds like my checks. Eves v'toyu. Bottomless. Bottomless. Ukemoy shiyos to anshek nesos hagdoylo, like the anshek nesos hagdoylo so beautifully wrote. The virchas yoitzer are hamachadish betuvay b'choyim tamid ma'ase bereshis. This is not a pasuk. This is the anshek nesos hagdoylo, which touched up. That Hakadosh Baruch Hu is constantly creating and renewing the world, meaning that, and, and I explained I explained as follows last on Sunday, that the, the, if something is created from something, so now something is created from something. It's it's simply assembled, as you say. So you walk away from it. It's been assembled. The something is there. If something is created from nothing. So it means to say that what's the ingredients of that something? Creator. Nothing. Nothing. No. <laughs> right. Yeshmiayin. So really, what's what's the raw materials? If you look under a spiritual microscope at this table, what's the what's the raw material? Nothing. nothing. <laughs> so if something is created from nothing, so how does that happen? That means Hashem to hold it in His hands the entire time. In other words, that's not, it's, it's not something that can stand, if something is created from something, so you walk away to something is there. Why? Because the raw material is there. But if something is created from nothing, so now if you walk away, you'll have nothing. <laughs> if once you have no something, you'll have nothing. And that miracle, something from nothing, requires HaKadosh Baruch Hu, yes? Nobody else can do, make something from nothing. Nobody. That's not not, not, not mad scientists, not alchemists, not physicists. Nobody cre can create something from nothing. Can't do it. We can make permutations. We can, we, but you have to start, I mean, right? This is the problem with evolution. We could have come from who knows what, but how do you get to the point of something from nothing? Let it be an, an atom. But how do you get from something from nothing to something this nobody's been able to, to explain. Okay, there was a big bang. A big bang of what? Even all the miracles of what? the Torah from something. After, after something. Oil pouring. Not hot. Water splits. Dust. Right. But it's not ex nihilo. So to get something from nothing for that, the only so far, the only one who's been able to pull that off God. is God. <laughs> there, there is no something from nothing. Almost. <laughs> Almost from nothing, microscopic to something, uh, all kinds of things. You could create uh, test tube uh, babies, but you still need something <laughs> to, to create nothing. That's a nothing. I mean, you need something to create something. You can't create something from nothing. Poof. Can't do it. 
I thought the point is that we can also through Debor. Well, uh, that's something. But let's 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 leave us out of this for a second. I want to talk about God today. No, because that, that's an obvious extension. What does all this mean for us Selim Elohims here? This is, this is, by the way, um, like, like consider this a, uh, a meeting, <laughs> consider this a meeting of understanding our jobs. Here's the company, world, here's our job. Understand the boss, understand what we can do. There's Elohim, there's Selim Elohim. Now, what I want to explain right now to make this a little bit easier, not that it's easier because it's, I'm explaining something I don't even understand, but just the, at least the cheshven, easier, is I want to explain that um, Elohim is already very close to us. It's already in the world. Like Elohim, everybody knows is Gematria Hateva. Gracious <clears throat> Bar Elohim we're already talking about something worldly. It, it would be kfira to say that we're the Tselem Shakai or the Tselem Yudke Vavke or the Tselem anything else. Because Elohim is already something which is graspable. So, um, see, the Torah says as follows. Pasuk, we all know by heart. Gracious bar lekim es hashemayim ve'esa aretz. That's how far every, most almost everybody got in Mavar Sedra. Gracious bar lekim elokim bara bara. Keep in mind that um, in the Oilamus there's atzilos, and that's after atzilos is what bria. So we're already. Way down. <laughs> why? Why does it way down? Just one down. Because infinity is is already at sea was up. We're already talking about things that touch and feel world. Bria. Bracious bara. When we're talking about the bria, the bria. Elokim es hashemayim esharis. Vehaaretz, haisasayhu vavayu vachoshech al pnei tahayim. Veruach elikim rachefes al pnei hamayim. Vayoymer elikim yihi ar. Vayihi ar. So there was a Matthias of tohu vavohu, and not insignificant vechoshech al pnei tahom. What's a tahom? The, the, the what's the shorish of the word tohu? Tohu. tohu. <laughs> it's it's redundant. There, there was a big tohu, and the big tohu is called tohom. What is it? Enli <laughs> musag. But this is before the bria. From this came the bria. So the 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 first step, if you will. Of the Bria is Tohu Vavohu Vachoshech Alpne Tohom. Whatever that is, imagine it. Think of it as um, darkness and chaos. But that is what creations. is So the Gemara says like this. Let me just to bring you a proof to what you're saying. The Gemara says, Vasar my Mara's Mishnah. Vasar ma Mara's Nivra's Ailam. That the world was created with ten Vayoymer Shem, Vayoymer Shem, Vayoymer Lakim, Lakim. So, for the Gemara, that why do you say Vasar Mamaris? There's only nine count. The answer is what? Bracious Nami, my Merhu. So, the, the, the Bracious Nami, my Merhu. Because this Pasuk here that we just learned, Pasuk Bays, is already part of the Bria, right, Darn? That's already part of the Bria. So, Bracious Bar Lakim as a Shemayim as a Aretz. Step one, Haisasayhu Vavayhu Vachoshech Al Pnei Tohaim. Episode given. There was there something. What, what, this is not yet nothing. <laughs> this is what? now. What? It's not yet. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not longer than that. We're not, we're not going that far back here in the Chumash to talk about it's nothing. Not, it's not nothing anymore. That was, that was nothing. Right? Something was already created. Meaning, Hashem created nothing. Like, like, um, like, like 
your wife takes a big a bunch of ingredients and makes a big dough, and then afterwards she and your kids come and make beautiful cookies out of it, and make beautiful challahs out of it, and braid it, al pi kabola, al kol You could do all kinds of things, but blah. Toyu vavoyu v'choyshech al pnei tahom. Hirsch writes confusion, chaos. Um, everything's all mixed up. Which was the creation? The beginning of creation. Bracious nami maimerhu. The, the raw material of creation. That's, that's the raw material. This is the first, let's put it in, in terms that we're using here, the first yesh. Where's the ayin in the Pasuk? In the preface. <laughs> it's not here. Because, uh, because the Torah we can understand. Who is it told? No, that was created. That no, we said that yesterday. We said that on Sunday. So let's leave that, if that's true. Uh, it could be. It, it could be. That's what ayin means. But it's not nothing. Maybe ayin doesn't mean nothing. But obviously, this is all in relation to, to this earth, this world that we're living in, in now. Before Bracious, let's say, minus zero. And the, and the for early, earlier book. There was something there. We don't know what it was. Yeah. If you want to call it something. But. Something. I mean, it has to be because God is infinite. Right. It, why isn't it in here? That's not relevant. It, in other words, when, when the when the when the Gemara says that look, there's certain things you shouldn't think about. One of them is what's before the world. Okay, so now here we are talking about Tova Vo. That's not before the world. That is the, that is the world. Yeah. So therefore, it still is. <laughs> well, well, you're saying a mouthful here. Tayu um, Vavaihu is so like so like this. The Gemara says in Shabbos Peiches. Let's understand for a minute deeply. Kaf Aleim Har Hashem held the Torah over the head of the Jewish people, and He said, "Im Tikablu Muta, Im Lav Achsir Zoylam Le Tayu Vavaihu." So what does that mean? Not that you're going to get zero, or minus zero as you put it. You're going to get toe of a vote. Start mixing again the dough. Yeah. You're back to glob. You're back to Square chaos. Square one. Square one. Let's, say, let's use this idea of Hirsch, so beautiful. You're back to chaos. Think about it. If, if there's no Torah, if there's no Tikkun, so what do you, what do you have? Chaos. chaos. What's the Just purpose? look at the world. What's the purpose? The Gemara says, let's pull this up, let me see if I can quickly find it. The Gemara says in Avodah Zarah as follows. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're asking why did Hashem do it? I don't know. I mean, let's just see. But the, but the Gemara says in Avodah Zarah. I'm sure this question, was there any purpose to just tell you on its own? Why not? Is there any purpose to the Yom Rishon without Yom Sheni? No, no, was, it, was anything, when there was just Torah about that state? I'm asking was, you, was there any purpose with day one before, without day two? Because, because or day, tali, because day five tali. without man? Yeah, because of Talia. But Torah about was the state before that. Not before, it's the beginning state. Because it helps us understand what the world is made out of. <laughs> you see, let me, let me just say this. Torah Vavayu, on one side of the spectrum, Gan Eden and Mashiach, on the opposite side of the spectrum. Can you absorb that? Toyu <laughs> Vavoyu is where the whole thing begins. The exact opposite of that is Ganeiden and Geula. So the most raw and undefined versus the most... Uh, the most chaotic to the most Matukan. Or the, 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 what, in the lotion of Kabbalah, the whole purpose of Mashiach is to come back to Gan Eden state, not to Gan Eden literally, but to the state of Gan Eden, which is the Oilam HaTikun, before we sinned, before Adam sinned. Tikun. What does Tikun mean? The ultimate development and twicklement of the, of the, of like the world. <laughs> no good? <laughs> So the the the, the um, this comes from the days of using thirty five millimeter film. <laughs> I'm tickled at thirty five. Uh, Miriam, Miriam Webster would say that. 
That, so, so what we're talking, you understand what we're saying? In other words, Toyu Vavayu is where it starts, Gan Eden is where it ends. Look at the Chumash. That's how the Chumash works, right? And, and, and in order to have Gan Eden, there's Gan Eden. Then where's, what's even better than Gan Eden? What's the next step? Mashiach. Adam. <laughs> Adam. Vayasem is Adam. Began Eden. Perfect until we mess up. It's perfect. What's going to happen when the Mashiach comes? Gan Eden. What happens when we go to Shemayim? Gan Eden. Uh, the, what happens in between? Starting from chaos, different degrees of chaos. That's what we're talking about when we talk about Toyo Vavaya. So, if you're going to be Makabal, the Torah says the Gemara is a Gemara. We're talking about a Zoya, the Gemara. If the Kabbal is a Torah Mutav. Why? Because it's not good enough just to have Gan Eden. And just to have man. You have to have rules. You have to have, if you want to know, um, you need the instruction manual. What to do then? What are you going to do here, right? What, what, what are you going to do here in this world? So, to Kabbalah, what are you doing? From the simple thing of wearing tzitzis to, to the deepest Kabbalistic things. To Kabbalah, what are you doing? You know, we're, we're moving along here. We're progressing. We're doing well. The Blav, and if you're not going to be a Kabbalah, to not just sham tehek for us, say that's that's one thing it says in the Gemara. Very shlokish, achsiras oylam letoyhu vavoyhu. I will create the world back to toyhu vavoyhu. Does that mean nihilo? No. So what's going to happen? We're back to a chaotic state, but we're after the mysebrachas, not before the mysebrachas. Think about this. What happens if the if the table goes back letoyhu vavoyhu? I don't know, but it doesn't just disappear. Jumble or something. Uh, some kind of a chaos. Because what we see is so defined, like it's, it's so clear. We've taken molecules, we've taken raw materials, and we've created a world here. And Hashem has created a world out of it, beautiful. And we could keep on going. We could take eights and make a bias, right? We could take even plastic, which is like an unbelievable, like what, I don't know, what is that? <laughs> you know, we could, we could take plastic and, and it could hold water. It's, it's, it's half of a fella. What, what we're able to do, yesh, me yesh, me yesh, me yesh, to the ultimate development. We could take a, 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 a human being, which is blood, flesh and blood, you know, and, and, and you know, a bunch of kilos of, 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 of fat and bones, and we could create such a, a navi. A navi. You could create a navi from this thing. You could create Ruach HaKodesh. It's, it's half of a fella. But that's, that's where you, st- but if, that's what Torah so if you're Makabal Tari good, if not, the Gemara says here, that the Goyim, Uma Sa'ilam, Oibde Kaychabim, were complaining on Dafgun Gimel and Avadazar. The Gemara says, it's very nice that Klai Yisrael was Makabal Torah, very nice. But Hechen Kimuha, where we Makayim the Torah, like, in other words, the Goyim now are feeling gypped, this is the context of the Gemara, over the fact that they weren't given a fair chance to, and when they get to Olam Haba and they realize that we're busy with our um, houses and our cars and our, and our roads and our wars and our women, um, and, and okay, so you did nothing. So, uh, Klai Yisrael, they did something. So, so, so it's okay, they were macabre the Torah. So the, the guy would say, well, you didn't offer us the Torah. Uh, so, he, so he said, I did offer you the Torah. So now they asked the hard question. Yisrael Shekib Lua Hechan Kiyamua. That's a painful question. Where were we Mekayim the Torah? Okay. I'm mayed that Klai Yisrael is Makayim the whole Torah. Will, Kimu, will, is. I'm Rim Lefanov, Rebani Shalaylam. So the Gayim say back, no, no. Klum Yesh of Shemayed al Banai. You're totally puzzled at this. Baruch You call Chai Yisrael children. I'm asking. Like <laughs> the beautiful love that Hashem has 
for Klai Yisrael that I'm, I'm puzzle aides. You're right. I'm a puzzle aides. But, Amr Lahan, Yavo Shemai Va'aretz via Idu Bahem be Yisrael Shkimus Tarevel. I have two other Edim. Let's bring the Shemai Va'aretz. Um, how is the Shemai Va'aretz Edus? Because if the very fact that the Shemai Va'aretz exists. Otherwise, we're going to come back to Tulano. Right, the very fact that the Shemayim Va'aretz exists is a raya that somebody's doing something right here. There must be hope for Debriya. Kla Yisrael must be keeping the Torah <coughs> on some level. Kola Torah um, Kula. I don't know if that means that there was one moment in history or all collectively, but somehow or another something must be raya. Because uh, there's a Shemayim Va'aretz, so here's a Edus that, that the Kla Yisrael is keeping the Torah. One second, because you weren't destroyed when I offered... Mm-hmm. To destroy Klal Israel, you still ex- that, that the Shemayim Ha'aretz still exists. That's, actually- That's the way I'm understanding the Gemara. Because it's not based on the original Rashi's, because there was no yet. Other- Hashem said it's nigh, right? Hashem said it's nigh in the Ma'aser Rashi's the Gemara and Shabbos Peches. That's the way to understand the Gemara, like a London. That Hashem said it's nigh in, 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 in Shabbos Peches. That im lav after as oilam latayu vavayu. And it didn't happen, Nashma, that we were Makabel and that we were Makayim. So the Shemayim Ba'aretz now becomes perfect testimony that we're doing something right. So comes the Hamdusha <coughs> Goyim, and they say, Ipcha Mustafra, Bidiyuk Farkert. There's Eilacha Nageya Be'edus God will be so. We want to be here. We're Shabbai Vars. Does anybody want to die? No. So what are, Shabbai Vars, we're not suicidal. So obviously, we're going to whitewash the fact that Klai Yisrael has assimilated and Klai Yisrael has worshipped of Zara and Klai Yisrael has seen us. We're going to whitewash that. They are the Shabbai Vars because the minute that they will admit that Klai Yisrael is, doing, is not doing the Torah, we're back to so, 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 this is their lashon. By the way, I always hear people say that pasuk. It's a amaratzis. Don't do that. Lashon bris. Here's the Lashon of Rishim Ben Lakish explaining the Pasuk. It says in the Torah, what's the, what's the Kasha? Hey. Because it says Yom Sheni, Yom Shlishi, Yom Revi, Yom Chamishi, Yom Hashishi, right? So, so what, why? The kiddush should be Yom Shishi. <laughs> What's Yom Hashishi? So, so Rishlakish Darshan this hey, because you know there's like a hey, Chukai um, Shemayim Behi Baram, big hey. So there's a big hey. What's the hey? Malamet Shehisna Kadosh Baruch Hu Imay Sabreshis. That's Rishlakish. That Akash Baruch Hu made a tznai with the Ma'is of Reishis. So Amar Lohem, this is talking about at the Bria, at the Bria already. Amar Lohem, in Yisrael, Makabla Masatayra, look at the future. The ultimate tikkun is going to be the Torah. And Klai Yisrael keeping the Torah. Otherwise, uh, you're, you're going to have wars, you're going to have destruction, you're going to have hate. It's not going to work. So Klai Yisrael has to be Makabla the Torah. So if they're going to be Makabla the Torah, then this that I created you makes some sense here. If not, I will return you to Toyhu Vavoyhu, not to some pre creative state. This is really what I want to bring out here. Not to some pre creative state, but to a state of Toyhu Vavoyhu, let's back to square one. Back to the fact where the where the where the Elohim begins. 
So that means he can't it, he can't make everything disappear, or, well, he, won't, uh, or he won't. I presume he, he can do whatever he wants to do, but he doesn't. He doesn't. This is not this is not a condition. The the, the condition is that back to toe of Vavo guys. You see, the the uh, the Kabbalim tell us that what what Klai Yisrael is not doing the Ratzon Hashem, so we get a toe of Vavo state, temporary, goes. You know that um, it, I mean. Back to the Chumash, the Aretz Hayes of Tayu, the Vayu, the Chayshech of Neitahim. Chaim, what is the Gemar Darshan? Arbogolius. One is Bavel, one is Yavan, one is Edoin, Paras. What, what are those? They are a Kiyum, uh, what are those? The Edoin Kashemikulum, where we are now. Edoin Kashemikulum. What are those? That's Tayu, the Vayu, the Chayshech of Neitahim. Big Tayu. <laughs> the time, time, the end time is Kashmi Kulam because it goes back to Tayu. Hmm. It's Kolo Kulam. Yeah, but, it, but it's particularly I mean, Tohu. Tohu, like Gaval to Tohu. It's like a, you know. So, 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 like, so what, my cash are the Goliaths over here? The answer is that it's the, the, the Goliaths and the Malchios are Hepach the Tikkun. The Tikkun is Gan Eden, Mashiach, Lo Yisa Goy El Goy Cheret. The the Goliath is Toyu Vavoyu Vachoshu back to chaos. Just think about the presidential election in the United States. <laughs> Some new starting point is Toyu. Yeah, I'm saying that's right. That's right. Control Alt Delete. <laughs> the computer doesn't. The computer doesn't disappear, and the programs don't disappear. But my gosh, we messed up, <laughs> and it's all tangled up, and it's all messed up, and it's all chaotic. Control all delete. But isn't the you said that Elohim is the constant like infusion of existence? Of, so 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 why even need that stage of Tovavo? It, it seems like. Like I'm making Tohu Bo exist, and then like I'm just going back again to, to zero, step, step zero, and going right now you, into the existence of a human being. Look, look from, I mean, from, from the, the Tohu Bo is the clay that, that everything has to be created out of. Who has to create it? The, the Elohim, Selim Elohim. So if, if, if we're creating the, a world, if we're creating a Tikkun out of this Tohu Vavoyo material, um, but it's not, it's not nothing. Nothing is for Hashem. It's, it's something. It's all yesh miyesh, but it's the most base, most, cha most chaotic, most confusing, most dark, the darkest. V'choshech um, al You see, like, um, this is what we say. We say, Baruch Atah Hashem. Elokeinu melech o'elam. Yoytzer or uvorei choshech. Daika. Yitzir are Yitzira. Is that Silas? Bria Yitzira. O Seh Shalom. Asiya. In reverse order. Shalom, if we have Shalom in the world, that's a um, Ganadin state. It's a Mashiach stage. Let's go drive and take a picnic in Saudi Arabia. A state of shalom, you know, without losing our heads here. So, so um, shalom is shlemus shalom. That's the world of Asiya when it comes to its tikkun. Above that is or, the first pasuk in the Torah, the first bria of the Torah, from Tayu Vavayu, Hashem said, Yehi or, by Yehi or. <laughs> so, so Yehi or. What's the chiddush? Uh, obviously, Hashem said Yehi or. By he are. The Kiddush is like this. The Kiddush is that, um, as, as we explained many times here, that or unto itself has no mashmos. Listen, Rav David. Or has to reflect on something. So you need the toy of Avayu. You need the toy of Avayu. You need the receptor. You need the makabel. You need the dukva in Kabbalistic language before you can get the dukhra to do anything. 
So, so to put it in, in terms that we can understand, that HaKadosh Baruch Hu needed to create the world in order for his or Poshut to have any mashmos at all. What, what's, the, what's the use, in a way, of an infinite or if there isn't something to receive it? What's the point? What's the point of having electricity in the walls if you don't have any appliance which is going to be, which is going to be using it? If you don't have any lights, if you don't have any motors, if you don't have a refrigerator, what's the point? The, so it's, it's a use, there was always electricity in the Bria, always. It was discovered, you know, maybe by Thomas Edison. Frank. Hmm? Frank. Ben Frank. Ben Frank. Okay. What, what Edison? Light bulb. So, so. so who was, who was? <laughs> That's how to use it with electricity. Tachlis. Yeah. Tachlis. So in other words, that, right, that's, that's my point. In other words, like, what's the point? There's always electricity. So, so the fact that Hashem has an or pashut and, and, and the whole Kabbalistic thing about Hashem's or pashut and, and making a cholol and going into the tzimtzum, yeah, fair, a nice story. <laughs> so this, the, the story of the first five pages of the Eitz Chaim and Arizal. Mm -hmm. But the, the point is, that's all the preface to Bracious Baruch Hu Kim. It's not, it's not really Nogei, it's just a good story. What's Nogei is from the world of Bria, Bracious Baruch Hu Kim, Yoytzer Or, and then up Baruch Hosha. So Tov Avo V'choshe Al Pnei Tohon. Right, so, so the, the, um, the Bria, Atzilus, Bria is Tov Avo, Choshe, confusion, mixture, nothing is sorted out, everything is a mess. Who, uh, there's war, there's, there's, there's killing. Um, Yotzer Or. Then we get to Or, where Vayi vai Or. Whoa, let's put some Or here. But ultimately, we need to get to the world of Asiya, says Hashem, which is Osa Shalom. Let's leave the next Bore out because that's going back to Chosha. Bore Ra, as the Pasuk says. But, but the, the Asiya is Shalom. So you have, again, Choshech on one side of the spectrum, and on the opposite side of the spectrum you have Shalom. Nachon? So Shalom is the opposite of Tohu Vavo. Golus is the opposite of Shalom. Shalom mitzad echad, Tohu Vavo mitzad shein. So, um, totally not doing justice to a very important subject, but um, let, let, let me just say this in Kabbalistic language. There was the, the Shvira, <laughs> like the Shvira and the Tikkun. Those are the basic two stages that the Mekubalim talk about. There, there is a, an infinite world, Ein Sof. There was some kind of a Shvira, Toyo Vavayu. Tikkun is now let's make the world into something. The, the furthest that anybody's going to go back is Tohu Vavo. So, let's go back to the original question. If the, if the table, if HaKadosh Baruch Hu is misalek his koach, Elohim, all this is Elohim. First time, to my knowledge, that Elohim was used in the Bria. Hmm? The Sovavo is also Elohim. The So, when something is going to go back to Tovavo, meaning it, we don't go past Elohim. What, what's, what's beyond that? Uh, who knows? But Bracious Bar Elohim, Selim Elohim, this is where our little world is over here. That might include, by the way, Mars and Jupiter. I don't, you know, I'm not saying it's, you know, it's, it's um, unique to Beit Shemesh or Muncie or something. Like that. What I'm saying is that, that it, it, the world as we know it, the Bria as we know it, starts with Elohim, starts with Tohu Vavohu. So if now um, HaKadosh Baruch Hu is Misalik his Koach Elohim from the table, what happens to the table, Darn? Tovavo. Yes. You think that Hashem created the concept of Elohim? Well, that's one of the one of the. Uh, I don't know who created. Uh, I mean, but that's one of the one of the expressions. Okay, <laughs> one of the manifestations of Elokus is Elokim, where it can come to gematria hateva. So the hateva that we're seeing over here, um, if Hashem would chas v'shalom be mesalik his koach meaning Masalik the Elohim from the table or from people or from the world. So then what you get is um, 
toe of a vote. You see, I'm not even sure of this. Let me just say this in, in, in closing, and then we'll just recap the Tev Like, um, let's, let's, I'm not sure if I'm right. I'm not sure if I'm right. But let's talk about a world for a moment which is totally in that, not animated. Nobody's alive. No plants are growing. Movie sense. It's dead. Uh, um, like, uh, like a picture projected on the wall. Um, it's 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 okay. It could be a movie set, a painting, a picture, but it's not alive. So that that let's call that for a moment um, the first stage of create the pre-animated world. Until Hashem said, Yehi or, poof. Until Hashem said, Vayipach ba'ap of nishmas chayim. See, what happens, like, when we die, is the lights go out. So, now what are we left with? In a sense, it's tov Because there's no mind to, to, to clarify any longer. There's no, the body is not working and sorting everything out. Nothing is happening. So, when, when the goof has, is animated, so the, 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 that's the Bria. That's the Bria. When plants all of a sudden start to grow. So, so just imagine, and your, your, just meditate on this for a moment, a dead world. Completely dead. Beruach Eloikim merachefes al pnei hamoyim. And the Ruach Elohim, Elohim, Shem Elohim, which gives chius to every single thing, gives chius, the water starts to move. The plants start to grow. The animals get up and start to run around. The, the ecosystem is created. The sun starts to move this way and move that way. And, every, and the whole solar system is happening. And then comes man, and man starts to talk. And then the Torah is given. And, and, and that's the animation of the world, the tikkun of the world, which starts from toyo vavayu. And, and that's, our, that's our, our function, that's our job. <laughs> continuing the process of Tzalem Elohim, we even have the uniform, to, to, to continue the process of Tzalem Elohim to get from toyo vavayu all the way up to the ultimate tikkun, which is, which is the Geula, the Mashiach. Along the way, toyu, vavayu, v'choshech apnei tohayim, Understand what those are. Understand what the Toichacha Shiva Mishnah Torah are. Understand what, what the, what the Klolos are and the Arurois are. Those are all holes and gaps in the, in, the, in, the, in the Tikkun. You're getting a glimpse of the Shavira. You're getting a glimpse of Toyu Vavoyu. When you, when you, when you, when you watch a, a movie about the Holocaust, you're getting a picture of Toyu Vavoyu where man goes crazy and, 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 and there's death and there's killing and there's uh, where, where, where nothing is nothing is nor it's a nightmare so so it's not a nightmare is is not in the gashmias a nightmare is, is is in the world of toyo vavaya and then there's the movie about peace about shalom about about mashiach about the, there, there's that movie that's the oil matikun we haven't seen that either <laughs> but it, like that, but but that's that's where we're meant to be Aiming for it, that there'll be a total the or yehi or that the lights will go on and will be completely animated in Masuka. So when the when the Nefesh Achayim, or Pinchas is going from here to America, so I just want to leave you with this idea. <laughs> um, let's just read the last couple of lines here. That he says. This is what we mean. Every single koach, every drop of, let's call it now, animation. All the animation that exists in this world, or in all worlds. Meaning, uh, Chaim, to answer your question, meaning the, the higher shemois, Atzilus is powering Bria, powered by Atzilus, and that's why it's the Baal HaKoychos, Kula. Elohim is Koychos, Baal HaKoychos is all being, uh, Bria, Yitzira, Asiya, all being powered by Atzilus. That's the way it works. Is this the Baal Shepa, the same, same? Same thing, Baal. HaKol Yisparach Shmoi HaBaal Koyach Shelohem, Shemashpia Behem HaKoyach Ugvura Korega 
Utluyim biyade tamin l'shanoisam u'lesadram kirtsayna yisbarf. Now here's the deal, the final deal. He doesn't say that it's biyade or that he's going he's to make it go back to puf, as we learned here at the beginning. I could be masadar this differently. Let's try it again. Take two. <laughs> right? Meaning, this didn't work. Let's try it again. Doesn't the Zayar say that Akadosh Baruch Hu made and created the world a couple thousand times before, before he got to this one? Uh, I guess we're okay. Uh, but, but, the, but the thing is that there's a, there's a lot of possibilities for the world. Akadosh Baruch Hu needs a world for whatever reason. So that's the, he puts the Elohim here, and here we are. You know, here we are, close to the Tikkun, I hope. But here, here, here we are. The, the, like the last Gemara is this. The, the last Gemara is that the Gemara says that Avodah Zarah, two pages later, the Gemara says that the world will last 6,000 years, the world that we know. Um, 2,000 years, Toyo Vavayu. 2,000 years, Toyo 2,000 years, Yomai Mashiach. Now, 2,000 years, Toyo Vavayu. Toyo Vavayu ended on day one. Hmm. <laughs> why, why, what, what are you, why, why are you telling us that the world was 2,000 years, Toyo Vavayu? But we finished Tayyav Avayu as soon as he said he are. The answer is there's still Tayyav Avayu until there's Tyra. And, and, and the Tyra itself, in the year 2000, when Avraham Avinu was born and started to teach, Avraham Avinu was born in 1948, right? And when he was 52 years old, started the years of Tyra. So until Avraham Avinu matured from the Bria it was all Tayyav Avayu. Because it was animated, but it was not animated. Yes, the plants were growing. Yes, the, the, the people were walking around, but they were also still killing people. And they were also, we were davening a little bit. Terem, Yitzmach. We got, we davened, we brought carbonus, We also messed up. We also made a maple. <laughs> like, mess, mess, mess. Until Avram Avinu came along. It was Tayo Vavayu. On some level, it was Tayo Vavayu. Because Tayo Vavayu is also a spectrum. That's also a spectrum. And that spectrum, start, we started a new phase with Avram Avinu. Now, are you going to be Makabal the Torah in 3300 or whatever it was? The answer is, look, you can go back to the stage of Tov Avo, we can try it again. Are you going to be Makabal the Torah? And when Mashiach comes, 2,000 years, you must have Mashiach, ultimate Tikkun, going further and further and further back to the Gan Eden spectrum. But Tov Avo is a 2,000 year thing. We were Tov Avo. Until there was, until there was Avram Avinu, there was Tov Avo. So, so that's what's important to understand, that when the world will go back to Tov Avo, it means to say that it'll go back to that time. It will become cavemen. That's what it really means. Or dead. We don't know what part of Tov Avo. Important thing is, what's our job in this world is Tzalem Alekim? To get out of Tov Avo and to get to Tikkun. That's our job. Tzalem Alekim, as Hashem gave us this koach, to, to, to drive the Tikkun. And if we're not doing that, then we're living a life of Tov Avo. As the Chazanish says, that, that if you're not living a life with Torah, who hakiyum shall tell you vavayu? Igres chazadish gimel. Who hakiyum shall tell you vavayu? That's tell you vavayu. If you're not doing anything, just here of existing, it's just tell you vavayu. Because like, go be a caveman, be a prehistoric person. It, 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 there's no, there's no, no purpose. No purpose to it if you're not going to do anything. Celebrate kib is the opposite of tell you vavayu. What's, what's Yeshmi Ayin? Does that mean Yeshmi Tovavo or Yeshmi Tovavo? Yeshmi Ayin is, is plus minus one. It's not gracious. It's not Tovavo or Yeshmi? No. No, it's not according to the Zayr. Why is he saying Ayin? If Tov is already Yesh, then if Hashem is Masalik, it is Koach. How can, there, how can it go back to Yesh? Yeah. Go back to when there's no. He doesn't want it to go back to nothing. He wants to go back to Tov. But when he's Masalik, he's But the thing is that um, um, the Mepharshim that say that 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 Yesh, that Ayin is Tov, Ayin Ba'afis is Tov Avayu, is possibly not correct. You say that Ayin is Tohu after a Well, um, Franco brings it from a whole bunch of. Uh, it's, about, it's probably not. It's probably not correct. Right? But Ayin is a previous thing. Why isn't Ayin Tohu? A Kaddish Baruch Hu, Elokim brings it all to the physical state. Creates all the physical. Look, the world look, FS zero is already on the. Uh, I think I'm not a mathematician, but I think zero is already on the. On the numbers, it's not infinity. Zero is not infinite. 
Right, 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 right. Like in other words, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 7, 0, and then if you fall off that, there's no end. But but zero is already a starting point. So I don't know if ayin means tohu. If ayin means tohu, that's fine. But then that's not ex nihil. Why isn't tohu the physical stuff of ayin? Yeah. So when Elokim starts well, breaking for Elokim, so that's where he takes the ayin and makes it into tohu. And right. so, so he takes an eye in and he makes it into But we're not privy to that. That doesn't say the Chumash. Right, but as long as there's an Elokim, yeah. we're already as long as there's an Elokim, right. we're, we're already at the level of Bara and Elokim. Yeah. We're already in the world of Bria. What's going on in Atzilus? Yeah. 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 Have a good trip.